Hi guys. Um, it's just a quick video this one. Uh, I just I wanted to get out on the bike. Um, a bit of a chat to you guys and express my disappointment. Um, I don't know how many people this, this will touch or whether it won't, but I, uh, I don't know if you got you guys are on Twitter. If you can, get on there, search C2W or Chase on Two Wheels. Something of that nature. Um, I'll put it in your text above anyway, and the link will be in the description below. Um, get on Twitter, get on Instagram, um, like and follow, um, join the conversation. Uh, a lot of you motorcyclists and vloggers and people interested in this sort of content will probably already be aware, but it's not this video, just you'll see from the title obviously. Um, Chase on Two Wheels is He's a, a content creator, he does all sorts of things from vlogs, first rides, um, builds, gear reviews, just everything. Really thorough, really well produced, um, absolutely quite comical, really entertaining. Um, it seems like a really nice guy. Never met him. He's, he's, he lives in, lives in Atlanta, in, in the States, I think. But recently, I mean, he's been doing this 10 years or so, or nearly 10 years. Got over a million subscribers, a really successful channel, loads of sponsorships, all that sort of thing. But it was never overly forced down your throat. It was always honest, light-hearted, but honest. Um, just just good content. Um, and he's worked really hard to get, get to where he's at. We've got a team of guys with him now. Started with just him, team of guys with him now, a couple of guys that help him with the builds and things. Um, and he's just really encouraging, uh, it influenced me a lot. It was one of the reasons that I finally made the plunge to do this. Sorry if the light is terrible, I know it's dark, but I just thought I had to get out and record this video. Um, anyway, yeah, so I happened to go on YouTube to look for one of his videos um, uh, on a helmet review for a helmet I'm looking at buying. And I just couldn't find the video. So, so I looked for his channel. Oh, give me a gear, will you? I looked for his channel and it was gone. I thought well, that's a bit odd. So I went over to Twitter and his Twitter account's still active, so. And sure as you are on there, I see a post saying that his account's gone down. Um, and there's like, the whole thing about it is mean, he did a, a video following that uh, when once his account was back up explaining what had gone on and basically he'd had um, a hacker get into his YouTube account via uh, an email that one of his managers had opened um, and they'd basically changed all the artwork on his channel uh, basically made it look nothing like his channel I can't remember what he, what he said it was but they basically they switched all these videos to uh, unlisted, so nobody could see them. Um, and the channel was live streaming um, something related to Bitcoin. Um, so he, he went through a whole thing of, of kind of trying to mitigate that and whatnot, and then changed all his stuff, changed his passwords, and then he ended the live stream, and that quite expectedly uh, annoyed the hackers. Um, and as a result, they then started to live stream porn on his channel. Um, so he he sat there conscientiously, just waiting on the live stream page for the little light to go red. You know, they were going to start streaming, and he'd end it as soon as he could. Um, but it seems that he couldn't end it fast enough in some instances. Um, and within a given period of time, he got a notice of the first strike on the channel. So YouTube run a, a strike policy for inappropriate content, not sticking to the terms of agreement, and that sort of thing. Three strikes and you're done kind of thing. Um, so you got your first strike, the second strike came, and fortunately or fortunately not, YouTube then stop you producing content. They take all your videos off and um, end any streaming. So fortunately this then this then stopped 
um, but his account was set to inactive. Uh, so then, and the, this hacker in that time as well, because they weren't off the channel even though he chose the passwords, they started deleting content. So he went through a whole rigmarole with YouTube, really tense, 24 hours, 48 hours, or, I can't remember how long it was, but basically, he, uh, eventually they, they kind of, but basically he doesn't have a representative with YouTube who will look out for him and I'd have thought by the time he gets that kind of level of a channel you would get that you know that extra degree of support but apparently not um, so as a result they've uh, they took his channel down um, he didn't manage to get in touch with another department in YouTube uh, who dealt with his appeal form um, and ultimately they reinstated this channel. Uh, he then got a notice to say that his channel had been suspended again, I believe, um, due to a complaint because of the inappropriate content. So, they've gone back and forth over that, because obviously one department doesn't talk to another. Um, in the end they kind of sorted that out for him, got him back online uh, and then he produced uh, a video basically explaining what had gone on and that it was all sorted and whatever else uh, and he, he would kind of roll in to try and um, you know get himself back on track. Following on from that um, YouTube then sent him another email notifying that his account had been taken down due to um, not following the procedures or whatever the wording was um, relating to the same issue. So he's emailed back again and said, this is unbelievable, I'm now losing how many views an hour or whatever and, and this needs sorting. And so, you know, bombard him on Twitter as well um, and he had to fill out in all those forms and the resounding answer that eventually came back was that uh, they reviewed it and the complaint was deemed well founded as it related to uh, a Bitcoin something or other video um, and as a result uh, the suspension stands um, now, as of me starting to record this video, I checked before I left the house, his channel still isn't back up. Um, I think it's pretty dismal. He is definitely the victim in this situation. Um, and I, I just wanted to put something out and say, like, just a few thoughts on it, really. So. Number one, I think, if your channel gets to that kind of level, I'm nowhere near there. Well, it's not here on the I've only just started. But the idea that you get to that sort of level and you're creating that sort of revenue for YouTube and you still don't get bespoke support or, you know, any real degree of urgency seems... just... just doesn't seem right. Um, and on top of that, this kind of the way it's handled um, evidently you know you think there'd be okay we've got this issue this report is there anything flagged relating to this channel oh look there's a known hack that we've done a reparation on I mean they recovered this channel and the deleted video so they know something was going on that wasn't down to the creator and that a security change has been made Surely there should be a grace period of like 28 days where complaints are reviewed against a known issue or just something in the policy of that nature just doesn't seem right that they would just immediately shut his channel down and they know. Um, but I mean I assume his appeal is still ongoing. Um, there was a bizarre thing in there as well, it says that due to the nature of the suspension, I think, 
Uh, he wasn't to open another YouTube channel or something. I don't know. I might have misread that, but that was my understanding. But for somebody of, of his stature now, in terms of motor vlogging and, and everything else that he does, it just doesn't seem... I mean, he's well invested. He's got people that are employed as part of his company. His company revolves around the YouTube channel. You know, he's bought equipment. I mean, his, his garage is practically a TV studio. Um, I just really feel for the guy. Um, and I just wanted to put something out there so that potentially, like, if he's, because I haven't seen any other videos relating to this. And if his YouTube audience aren't particularly on Twitter or on um, Instagram, then they might not know. They might not know what's going on. So hopefully, if they search for Chase Two Wheels, they'll come across this and they'll know what's going on and head on over to to Twitter. But I don't know. It's not a call to arms or anything. But I think we the the motor vlogging community and the motorcycle community itself is quite it's vast, and broad, and non-discriminatory and very supportive like it's helped me numerous times in my life and I just think that a guy who has put such an amount of effort into something like that relating to motorcycles for the benefit of the viewers because it's not easy sacrificing that level of time for editing coming up with these ideas keeping it original keeping it fresh um, and the quality that he's done it at, I think is astounding. So, I think I'd, what I'd like to say more than anything is rally round guys, get on Twitter, even if you don't, you know, not necessarily say bombard YouTube with emails and, and all that sort of stuff, because I don't know if that would be of any use anyway. But just get on Twitter, get on Instagram, just, just drop a tweet with at uh, CT2 W or I'll put his hand up above but just drop a tweet just let him know that you guys are still out there you're supporting him and you know you're there and ready when his channel comes back um, the guy deserves it He's, he just deserves it you know he sacrificed a lot and put a considerable amount of effort time and money into making what he made so yeah, it just it just seems dismal for his channel to go down like that. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say, guys. I know that turned into quite a bit of a rant. It was a bit longer than I was hoping for, but I just needed to say something because I felt somebody needed to. Um, yeah. On that note, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thanks for watching. If you watch this far, uh, click like, subscribe. Uh, there'll be more motorcycle content I intend to get on the soapbox every time or don't ever intend to get on the soapbox really but you know sometimes you've got to say something um, but anyway thanks for watching guys take it easy